guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here, coming to you with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to do a haul of my hang-up clothes. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you my hang-up clothes. Like, he can't put his shit up there, dude. Um, I need that space for my fucking leggings. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, I gotta get some hangers. Wingers. So we've got this sweater, which is very 90s. So we're gonna keep that. This is Time and True. I think someone gave this to me. I'm surprised it fits me because it's a small. Because typically I wear a large, some mediums. We've got this shirt that'll be good for under rompers. This is from Walmart. Let's do a super pile. <clears throat> We've got hmm. We've got a scarf that needs to go in a different pile because that needs to be put away. We've got a baby shirt that needs to go in the boys' room. We've got a onesie that I don't know if it fits. A pair of gloves. I don't know why he brought these upstairs. We've got a nightgown that I got from 99 Cent City. I've got my dino shirt that I think I may wore maybe once. I'm going to keep it, even though it doesn't match my theme. This is from Extreme Bargain Bins. It's Cat and Jack, and I love Cat and Jack. And it fits me, because I don't typically wear larges. I typically wear extra larges in Cat and Jack, but because it's a boy's, obviously, men's runs bigger than women's. We've got this 90s vest. This is Gap brand that I got from, I believe, the clothing bank. I feel like it's 90s. We're going to go with it. We've got my Christmas dress that still has a friggin' stain on it. That's okay, I guess. Got it for like five bucks or something on sale after Christmas. I don't think it's Christmas, technically. I think it's just Bambi. But they're calling it a reindeer. I wore that when I was like three, four months pregnant. The shirt I got from the clothing bank. I love it. It's tractor. Oh, apparently tractor supply. Not 90s, but super cute. Um, I am keeping a few non-90s items, like I said. This, I can totally make 90s cropped sweater from Extreme Bargain Bins. Love it.
Got to get more hang wars. To hang some of this stuff up. Why grab some more hangers? I gotta redo my legging collection too. Okay. I don't even know where we left off. This is, I think I got this from the clothing bank. I mean, I use it as a long sleeve shirt. I could probably layer this under one of my romper dresses, overall dresses. the Squidward shirt I don't know technically it's 90s but like because Squidward is very 90s early 2000s but I don't know I just don't feel the vibes so I think that's gonna go we've got my winter hat that I forgot I had no 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 I know I put it on backwards but I don't care We've got this romper dress <clears throat> that I got from Sheen. Very quiet, very 90s. Loving the vibes. Loving the vibes. Get off my clean clothes, please, sir. Um, there's multiple piles on my floor of clothes. I'm going from, I'm picking one pile at a time. We've got some very 90, well, early 2000s arrow sweatpants. Cannot sit on my clean clothes, sir. We've got a Sheen Halloween Don't Care hoodie. Because like I said, holiday clothes. So holiday clothes and petticoat. Um, not petticoat. Um, tutu skirt. Tutu and tutu style skirts are not included in the 90s theme. They are excluded. They don't, they get a pass. We've got a baby hoodie, which belongs in the baby room. Because it's a baby hoodie. Actually, what size is this? This shirt may be the wrong size. Nope, it's three months. Okay. So far, we've gotten two things don't belong here. One thing to go all the other. Um... I don't know. I thought I liked it, but I really don't. That's gonna go. These totally get a pass because I'm obsessed with these sweaters. I have it in two or three different colors. I got them from, I want to say Salvation Army. I know one came from Salvation Army. The other ones might have come from Thrifty Shopper. I don't know. Some thrift store. We've got another baby hoodie that doesn't belong in here. It's going in the baby room. We've got a pair of tights that I don't know if they fit. So we're going to have to check those out. We've got a skirt that I just wore the other day. The top doesn't fit, but the skirt does. Very Rue 21, very 90s, so we're going to keep that. Stick with our 90s vibe. I feel like it's very 90s. Very like, Kaj Core slash 90s. Uh, 
this I just got and I'm super excited about. I think I paid like $20 for this. Uh, what's the name of that show? Name of the, uh, not show, website. Thread up. But it had a $65 price tag. Brand new, still with tags. Oh, also gay pride items don't count either. This is 90s meets gay pride. So gay pride outfit, gay pride items don't count. Holiday outfits don't count. And tutu skirts. And I'm not doing, and then pajamas, anything like that doesn't count. Pajamas and bras and underwear and socks and all that, they don't count. Like that. These are really pilled, so I'm going to get rid of those. I don't know. I think those came from a pickup I did or something. Yeah. I'm going to keep this until I can replace it. But I'm not feeling it. But I'm like obsessed with cardigans. Got that from a pickup I did, I believe. I don't think I got it from the clothing bank. Hmm. We have this guy that I bought from my favorite local thrifty store, thrift, thrift shop, Cactus. I figure it's kind of 90s and like I could do so much with that. Love it. Mm -hmm. I only paid $4.99 for it. This is very vintage and oversized. I got this from the clothing bank. Very oversized, very one of my night shirts. I want to say it's more 80s than 90s, but super cute nonetheless. We've got a winter coat. That someone gave me. I'm gonna see how it fits. I don't know if it's even gonna fit me properly. It is way too big in the stomach, I feel like, and I don't think I'm gonna actually wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Because I have a million coats. I'm a coat hoarder. These pants I'm hoping to wear tomorrow with that rainbow sweater hoping they fit i got these off thread up they're size 12 they're tommy hill figure they might be too big because i can wear depending on the brand i can wear anything from a six like in adult pants a six to usually a 10. This gives me, like, 90s vibes. Mufasa, Lion King. Big 90s movie. I don't need nobody. This is from Walmart. It's just the Wound Up brand, so I'm going to guess it's from Walmart. I thought it was from... Sheen, but it's not. I only got to wear it like one time because it was shoved in a bag in the basement for like 17 months. We've got this dress I just got from that same local thrift store that I got the... What did I get from? Oh, the cami. The thing from. It's got like this detailing on the top. Very me, very. We are going to put some stuff on the shelf. Hang them up. Will I get more hangers? Got lots of clothes.
So, anywho. So, yeah. Um, for those of you who know the B saga, I saw B today for the second time since we started talking again. Which was almost a month ago now. Um, she lied. She did lie. I did, I did confirm that I don't know that she lied to me about the apartment. I'm pretty sure she did, but I can't confirm it. She didn't lie to me about the car. She lied to me. I know she lied to me about the daddy situation because I went through the messages she sent him on Facebook right before the incident happened. Or, well, yeah, that started the incident. And they were all about her cell phone bill. So I know she lied about the whole sleeping with him. And she lied about not being single. And I can't prove yet that she lied about being divorced. Because that would involve me contacting her ex, her husband, ex-husband, husband, whatever, to see if she's divorced or not. But she did not break up with the, du the douchebag, the Muslim, the now not Muslim douchebag. Because I, because I was supposed to go to her house, drop some stuff off to her, and she was headed to the store to go find a PlayStation card, because I was nowhere near a store that sold them. So I wasn't going to get her one, and I didn't want to spend the money. So she's like, oh, you can just, since I was dropping Kelsey off, she, and Kelsey lives not far from where she works and where he works, she's like, oh, she, I'm dropping him off at work, I'll just leave him the car, so I don't have to pick him up at 1 a.m., and you can just take me to Walmart and then take me home since you have stuff for me anyways and we're coming to my house. And I'm like, okay. That's some bullshit, but okay. Like, she's not going to know that I know she lied about it. And the problem, too, is if she wants to take the baby, first she said... So, first she told me she was taking the baby... Ended up taking the baby on New Year's Eve. Then, she said she was taking the baby. Never took him. Said her whole family had COVID. Then she said she was taking the baby, but she had to move back to her mom's. I don't think she ever moved out of her mom's. I think she lied to me about that. Then she said she couldn't take, now she can't take the baby because she doesn't have a pack and play for him to sleep in when he's there. Because... Even though she can, I don't know why she can't borrow mine. With a pain in the fucking ass. She could literally just borrow mine. But whatever, she's fucking retarded and I can't stand her. But anyways, pile number two. We have this Sheen shirt. It's got Sam on it. So, Halloween. We've got my favorite nightgown of all times that I got from Salvation Army. Because it's got my favorite bird on it. Red Jays, as I called them when I was little. My second favorite bird is Cardinals. Or, Blue, sorry, Blue Jays. So it goes Cardinals, Red Jays, or Cardinals, Blue Jays, Mingos, Parrots, toucans, peacocks. Oh, I forgot to bring you up a treat, Bug. I was going to bring Remy up a treat. This shirt, I don't know why. I don't like a lot of sexy shirts, but this is super sexy and super cute. I just can't get rid of this. This is the brand Daisy Fuentes. If you... I mean... Daisy Fuentes is very ancient now. Nobody knows who Daisy Fuentes is. I can't think of the name of the show she was on. But if you know, you know. If you know who Daisy Fuentes is. Someone, I believe, gave that to me. I don't know. I just think this is very classic. Um, I think, I can't remember if I, I think I bought that from the thrift store. But if you know Daisy Fuentes, you know Daisy Fuentes. It was Daisy and what was the dude's name? 
It wasn't say yes to the dress. They used to make over people. I can't think of the name of the show. But if you know, you know. <clears throat> this shirt has a lot of meaning to me because eh, this was the shirt I wore for my baby shower. I got it from JCPenney of all places. So we're going to keep Baby Yoda. This I could make very 90s. This is from Sheen. We're going to make that very 90s. Have you guys been watching the That's So 90s show? I'm almost done with it. It's mad corny. If you're a 90s kid, let me see if the shirt's... Nope, the shirt has like mold and crap on it from Daddy, so I'm going to get rid of this. But I'm really sad about it, but it was a shirt. I think Kelsey bought me that one from Walmart. We've got my new kawaii leggings, which I'm going to do a whole video on leggings. After I get done with this video. Because i got to reorganize the legging shelf. Because Daddy's trying to put up a whole bunch of his crap up there on the legging shelf. And I don't have room for my leggings. But let me go deal with Gabby real quick. Can't keep coming down here to deal with you, sir. Three, five minutes. Okay, guys. Sorry if you... I'm back. If you hear my son screaming in the background, I'm really sorry. He's teething and he's absolutely freaking miserable. And... can't deal with him anymore. Daddy had to go take the boys home because we're supposed to get a big... A big storm tonight. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. I don't even remember where I was now. I have to get more hangers, though. I'm going to hang up some more of this stuff.
got my Gooditama ramen shirt, which we're going to keep. Because I love Gooditama. This shirt I mostly wear to bed. It's got some stains on the front. But it's from Sheen. I think, or maybe Romley, I don't know. I love it. Mostly wear it as a bedtime shirt, like I said, because it's got some stains on it. Got a towel that doesn't belong in here. Arms in the bathroom. got this sweater I just got from Goodwill. It's American Eagle or Salvation. Sorry, Thrifty Chopper. I feel like it's very 90s. They have this similar style in like different colors. We've got a random pair of sweatpants. Got a glove that needs to go downstairs. We've got my jacket I just bought from Tamu. Nope, it's dirty. Gotta throw it in the laundry basket. We've got my Monet painting. I can't think of what the name of the painting is, but it's by Monet. I really love these, so I'm going to keep that. I have that one, and then I have the one I wore the other day that was Van Gogh. Starry Night. Favorite paintings of all time. Those I thrifted. I'm going to grab a pile of crap and bring it over. Okay, we've got smiley leggings from Walmart. These leggings, I got off of Curb Alert. I got these from my favorite local thrift store. We have another GM, um, onesie. This came from, I think, Walmart. I've got this long sleeve shirt. It doesn't fit my vibe, and I don't really wear it much. I don't know what to do. The baby will not stop screaming no matter what I do. Like, he will only stop screaming if I'm holding the bottle for him. And I can't hold the bottle and clean the house. Keep this because it's just basic gray. That can go under one of my outfits. We've got two rolls of tape that can go in the basement that were up here from Christmas. Big little pile of stuff to go in the basement. This garbage bag that's up here can be for the stuff that's out there. We've got these just basic straight-legged pants. They're nothing special. 
Got those, I believe, from a pickup I did. We've got some sweatpants from a pickup I did. These are very 90s. They're yoga style Hollister pants from a pickup I did, I believe. These are from Walmart. Christmas leggings. Got this Ofud shirt, which again is very 90s in Christmas. I'm gonna have to re-go through my shirts again because they're not all gonna fit. We've got my Avatar shirt that I just bought, which I'm keeping because I love Avatar. And I want to see the new movie. We've got this could be considered late 90s, early 2000s, the office. This is just plain yellow, so it doesn't fit in any mold. That's from Walmart. The other one I got from Curb Alert. These are from Thread Up. We've got these that I've had for a million years. Uh, yoga pants. I don't remember where I got those. I think I thrifted those. These I got from a Curb Alert. I really don't honestly wear these ones. I'm going to get rid of those. Got just plain gray leggings. Well, I mean, they're like striped. I got those from a pickup I did, I believe. These pants that I was going to get rid of that I'm glad I kept because I actually really like them. Those I got from a pickup I did. These Halloween bat leggings from Walmart. Another pair of just like plain weird leggings. I don't know what you call them. These are like legging. These are like almost jeggings. I got those from a pickup I did. Um, they're kind of like shredded. I'm gonna get rid of them. These ones I just don't really wear much. These pants, I'm gonna get rid of them. Then we've got another pair I got from my favorite thrift store of leggings. I am going to do my legging thing for you guys. I'm going to do it in this video, I think. Because I want to see what's up on this other side, too. Some of Daddy's clothes, some of my clothes. Random. Random clothes. And then a train box that should not be up here. And then a couple pair of leggings I can't really reach. So we're going to go through these leggings as well. through this whole shelf up here because I think some of these pants are actually baddies. So we've got these leggings that I thrifted. I wear those just because they're thick and they're warm. Not because I actually like them. These I got from my favorite thrift store. They're La LaRue. My local thrift store. So we've got those two pair of leggings.
this shit up here is not mine. Okay. We've got a pair of jeans that are mine. They're maternity jeans. Ish. That I kept. One of the few pair of jeans I own that fit me. We've got a hat that I paid $40 for on, I think, Amazon. Because Wonder Woman. Huh? Your question is, I don't know. Well, it needs to be clean. Look at it. That's from the cats. No, in here. What is all this? It was not like that this morning. It's all over on that wall, too. I don't know what it is. And there's shit on the light cover, too. Oh, it's probably from the rabbit, because well, it's, it's only in this corner. Well, it needs to be cleaned. Yeah, I'm not fucking cleaning it right now. Did I say you had to clean it right now, jackass? No, but you're, you're saying it, it needs, needs to, to be, be clean. clean. I know it needs to be clean. I'm not just Did the boys clean, clean the car? No, I'm cleaning it right now. Down here whiting and you didn't even hear him. Um, I went down there and fixed it four times and then didn't care at that point. I'm in the middle of doing a video and trying to clean up the bedroom and organize all the shit you put away incorrectly and mix your shit in with mine. Put shit where you can't put shit because then I can't put my stuff there. See what I deal with, guys? Nothing but attitude. Yeah, all these pants are friggin' yours. Because he literally tried to shove my jeans with his, and I'm like, if these don't fit you, get rid of them then. They're 33.30 and 34.30. I'm so confused. He told me he needed a 32-32. But yet, when we first got together, he was wearing 34-30. How did your length change? You didn't get taller. So confused. So I'm guessing these can go then. He needs to decide what, the, what those are. And they can't go on my shelf. They need to go in his drawer. Because all the other goddamn pants. You need to put your jeans in your freaking jean drawer. Like, what are these? I have not seen these in months. 34-30. Those are freaking shorts, but they, I don't even think they're the right size. Those are size 34, so do they even fit you? And these still have the tags on them from when I bought them, and they're thirty-four thirty. Okay. These are kind of weird. I got these from the clothing bank, and I'm gonna get rid of those. Got plain blue ones. I don't know where these came from, but we're gonna keep them. And then he's got more clothes over here that I don't know what they are. clothes up here. We 
These are all clothes from his work that he could be wearing. He literally needs to go through all these clothes. I don't know what all these freaking clothes are. Look at those damn clothes. start bringing more clothes from the floor we've got another pair of stockings i don't know if any of these fit one's bunnies and one's cats A pair of leggings from sheen A sweater from the bargain bins that I'm gonna hang up. A pair of you no, are these leggings? Yes, these are leggings. A pair of leggings that I think someone gave me. Pair of leggings from Walmart. A pair of really oversized pants. That can that someone gave me. A pair of white leggings and I probably I mean I might wear them. So we'll keep them. Someone I think gave me those. <sighs> pair of Halloween leggings or But I think I'm going to go, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye, guys.